Welcome to the Dallas Cowboy Studio. Welcome to DifferenceMakerBibleStudy.org. Today we are going to study the Word of God. So, go and get your Bibles and prepare your hearts to hear the Word of God. This has been your host, Karsten Miller, a.k.a. Difference Maker, saying to you, God bless my friend. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Difference Maker here, real name Karsten Miller, coming to you live from the Dallas Cowboys studio slash office. Today's Daily Difference Devotion, Learning Humility by Examining Pharisaical Pride, Part 1. Then Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have seated themselves in the chair of Moses. You know, pride can be a destructive force. It lies within us searching to devour any object in its path. Pride can also be blinding and burdensome too. The Christian man's desire should be to consistently have pride put away from his life. An example to help us avoid pride arises from a close look at the Pharisees. Since they always seem to be the billboard for pride, it matters to study their character. They displayed pride so profusely, the Lord Jesus Christ spends almost all of Matthew 23 pronouncing judgment against them. In contrast to Pharisaical pride, the believer must walk in humility fervently throughout his Christian life. Now, Jesus began his final message of his earthly ministry chiding the pride and self-exaltation of the Pharisees in Matthew 23. Previously, he had proclaimed his deity by asking them, asking these proud men a question. Now, in return, none of them dared to answer the question Jesus asked. This is in Matthew 22, verses 41 through 46. His proclamation assaulted their pride. Why? Well, the Pharisees had appointed themselves unto Moses' seat in Matthew 23, verse 2. This seat was the cathedra, the cathedra, and it was it, which was an exalted chair usually occupied by men of great influence such as teachers and judges. The scribes and Pharisees felt they had inherited this chair personally because they were the teachers of the law. The first thing to note in verse 2 is the Pharisees' pride lusted for high status. Pharisaical pride seeks positional popularity. It longs to inherit places of authority, feeling worthy of such titles. Humility conforms to the low road. Humility seeks for Christ Jesus to be lifted up while self is thrown down. Like in Matthew 6 verse 33, the humble will seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. We are to pursue the one who did not exalt himself to high positional status, but humbled himself as a slave. When we desire to be great, that is a quick indication we are steering towards pride. Put on humility. Strive for the path which is a great distance from the limelight. Second, pride exalted the Pharisees as righteous. It told them you are right, others are wrong. But the ones the world believed knew God's law had gone far beyond the word. Humility will never seek self-righteousness. Humility lowers self under God's righteousness like in James 4 verse 6. Going any further to try to be right in our own sight runs the risk of being exposed by Christ. Be careful of high-mindedness or lofty thoughts. Come lower, putting aside self-esteem and esteem Christ. Verse 12 of Matthew 23 says, Whoever exalts himself shall be humbled, and whoever humbles himself shall be exalted. Finally, mark that the Pharisees' pride 
of preeminence was not even important. Being in Moses' seat brought no value to their life spiritually. Remember his word says this, What profit is it to gain the whole world and to lose your soul? In Mark 8, 36. Our, in our pride, there is a tendency sometimes to lift up the unimportant issue as important. The real value is humbling our agendas to the tender spiritual care for others. Humility knows exactly what is important and that is glorifying the Lord. Let pride be brought low and the humility lifted high. Here's some questions you may want to ask yourself. Why is Pharisaical pride such an easy sin to cling to? What areas in your life need to take on an attitude of humility? You can also think about this as you want to search yourself to find pride in your life. Let a person who is very close to you, i.e. your wife or a best friend, um, find them and ask them what areas they see in your life pride manifesting itself. Now be humble and willing to hear their answers. And when they tell you, pray for the wisdom in Christ ridding you of such desires. We don't want to have pharisaical pride. But we must look at their pride and see how we should do the opposite and have humility. It's so important to have that as we walk out this Christian life. Remember to bring low pride and exalt humility. This has been Difference Maker saying to you, God bless my beloved. Stay into the Word of God. Well, thank you for listening to today's Daily Difference Devotion. I hope you were encouraged by the Word of God. Remember to always study the Word of God after it has been presented to you. This has been a production of DifferenceMakerBibleStudy.org. I am your host, Karsten Miller, a.k.a. Difference Maker. Um, you can catch me at my website, www.DifferenceMakerBibleStudy.org. That's www.DifferenceMakerBibleStudy.org. And if you are looking for a wonderful place to worship the Lord, how about coming out to Hope Bible Church? That's Hope Bible Church, www.hopebiblechurch.org. This has been another production of DifferenceMakerBibleStudy.org. God bless.